Do you want kids? Wow, that was so sad. Hey guys. <laughs> yes, we are sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Anyways, so actually that's probably a great idea. We'll pick it up after. So today we're doing a question and answer. Thank you for everybody that sent in the questions. But we're just gonna get to it. So the first one is do you guys plan on traveling anywhere soon and where would you go? Should I answer? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yes, we do plan on traveling soon. Uh, we're going to Costa Rica for Christmas. I think we've mentioned it a few times now. I don't think... Oh. Well, they can oh. go back and watch. But uh, I'm pretty sure we are. Pretty sure we have mentioned it. We are definitely going. We're really excited. It's going to be a great trip. Some friends are joining us. Uh, so we're super pumped about that. We're going to do some surfing and spearfishing and uh, hanging out on the beach. Oh yeah, definitely <laughs> hanging out on the beach. That's Lots where you'll find me the whole time. <laughs> um, the second one is, are you going away for your first anniversary? Probably not, considering <laughs> that we'll have just gotten back in January yeah. and our anniversary is in February, so we'll go downtown or something and it'll be fine. Get a hotel for a night. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, how was your honeymoon in the Bahamas? Could do some more eyebrows for that one. Oh my god. <laughs> it was really, really amazing. Like the prettiest place that I've ever been. The bluest waters I've ever seen. Like it was so gorgeous. We uh we got to just like chill. The weather wasn't the best, so we didn't really do too many activities. Okay. One, the weather was great. It was so sunny and so hot. The weather wasn't best for spear fishing. The weather wasn't best for any activities on the ocean. The <laughs> ocean was rough. So we we did do one full day tour, which is really awesome. We went oh to see my the goodness, swimming pigs. Yes. We got to see the swimming pigs, which was literally my favorite thing. Yeah. Ever. Chanel loves pigs. Ever. And you always see all these like pictures of like <laughs> Instagram people with like these cute little pigs and it's all just like sweet. <laughs> Not the case. No. In real life, they are squealing so yeah, loud. They freak out. Like freak it's out. Awesome. It's like they're dying pretty much. They but hated being picked up. They, but yeah. Everyone almost. picks them up. So we got some cute pictures. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. And then do you guys feel the pressure of being in a relationship that's on the internet? I don't think we're really like public figures or anything. I don't really fully understand. Like, do you wait? I get it. Like, people can follow your relationship. Ah, uh, no. Uh, we haven't felt that. I have a total of like a thousand followers. So, <laughs> so. Maybe uh, when Shaniqua here gets super famous. No, we'll but see. we're exactly who we are together, yeah. as we are over the internet. So, as a sappy as our posts are, it's exactly how sappy <laughs> we are in person. So, all in all. We do not feel any uh, pressure on our relationship from uh, <laughs> being online. <laughs> not at this point anyway. We'll let you know if it changes. If you guys start hating on us or something like that. But uh, we're pretty good right now. Where do you see yourselves in five years? Ooh, good question. That's actually a great question. Should you write down who asked these? No. It does. Instagram tells you who asked them, but... I'm obviously not going to do it. own privacy. Yeah. For me, I think in five years, one, we want to have at least, well then that kind of ruins the next question, <laughs> or one of the questions, but at least maybe have one kid. I want to have at least two properties, like a home, like, and some kind of other something like or other. Five it's years. ambitious. Five years. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Sell some homes, baby. Here we go. <laughs> um, Expectations are high. <laughs> and then for me, I want to have started my own business. Started in five years. Well, like have started and been doing well in my own business that I am planning. And I'll let you know <laughs> soon enough. <laughs> I think that's like the overall, I don't know, goal I'd think of in that's five years. That's where Chanel sees herself anyway. Well, obviously I'll tell you with what I see you. myself. <laughs> On a beach, baby. No. Um, yeah, 
I think that uh, I definitely think we'll have a house by then. I don't know about another property. Come That'd on, be five ideal. years. Well, it'd yeah, be ideal. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can get on board with two properties. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, career wise, I'll be pretty established in five years. It takes a year or two to really get your wheels turning and get some momentum, but once you have that, it's usually a little bit easier in real estate. So I'm hoping to have a network of people that I've already done some business with that I can rely on to send me consistent business and uh, you know, always be getting new clients from their friends and family and stuff like that. Yeah, I think we see ourselves in Langley probably still in five years. Um, probably having a family on the way, something along those lines. It's insane. Yeah, probably be, probably be a dad. That's be, crazy. Exciting stuff ahead. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Um, the next question is. Says, how did you guys meet? If you don't know, we met in Belize, but to put YWAM. yeah, YWAM. But if you really want like a detailed explanation of where we met, just go onto our YouTube channel and look up our, our story. story. And Jeez. it, you owe me a coke. Yes. <laughs> and that'll explain it all pretty <laughs> much. Yeah. Um, what do you think you would have done if you had had to do long distance for four years? Four years, I wouldn't have done long distance for four years. Yeah, honestly, a year was hard enough. Yeah, I would have either moved my butt home or Chanel would have moved to Belize. Yeah, <laughs> I yes. don't think there was any option of us doing long distance for four years. Yeah, but it's kind of different, I guess, because for Donna and I, we were so set on getting married, so like we had to do it for four years. It just what wouldn't have sense. really have been an option for us. We yeah. would have somehow made it away for us to get married and like live in the same country kind of thing. So, I don't know. Someone would have made the sacrifice and move basically. Yeah, it would have been different though if we were at different stages, somebody was going yeah. to school or like whatever. Honestly, I have no idea what we would have done. Yeah, just worked out for us. Yeah. Hard really. to know. Yeah, it is hard to know. The next question is. <laughs> is it? That's too personal, you can't know that. <laughs> <laughs> We're not answering that. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Chanel, this is for me. Where, what are you? Hello. Wait, you don't want to do it just on me. Where it's you... about you. I don't care. <laughs> for right now, I am working at a restaurant called Moxie's. I actually really love it, but that's not like a long-term thing for me. Like I said earlier, I am wanting and will be starting my own business in a certain area. What are you going to be doing? Oh, 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 you don't get to know yet. What? Why not? Pourquoi? Because I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. We'll do like a big reveal eventually. All right, cool. Anyways, how is real estate going for Donovan? Now it's your turn, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Thanks, um, sweetheart. Real estate is going good. I've been licensed for four years. Four years. <laughs> Four months now, wow. and uh, I have one listing on uh, actually the street I grew up on, which is pretty cool. Uh, so if you guys know anybody in the market for a rancher in Walnut Grove, Langley, give me a call. You've actually been super busy lately. Like the yeah. past week, he's just been like... The last two weeks have been really busy. Yeah, uh, it's weeks, starting yes. to kind of snowball. Um, it's been really fun helping people, getting to spend time with them and getting to hear what they're looking for and help them find it. So written a few offers um, and working on getting one of them accepted right now. It is accepted, we're trying to get the subjects removed. So that would be nice. So uh, yeah, it's going good. I'm having fun, learning lots and uh, growing every day. So it's good. Right on. Do you have any names picked out for your kids? Ooh, kill them. So? We have the sickest name ever. We actually do. Kid. But only for a boy. Yeah. And or for a girl, maybe? No, not a, that would not sorry work guys, at all. Sorry, guys, my for... eyes are really weak. I need sunglasses. Okay, but that would not work at all for a girl. But we're not going to tell you. Yeah. You guys can guess if you want. The it's, initials. Yeah, it starts with an M. So we're going to have... M-A. Cash, dash, and mash. En route. <laughs> That's so bad. And then we'll have not en route. Oh yeah, on route. <laughs> you know somebody I don't know? Oh my no. gosh. No, 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 no. We're not pregnant. No, we are not. Mm -mm. At least not that I think. Where are we? 
Okay. Let's not confuse them. We are not pregnant. We're not having a child. <laughs> Do you want kids? Mm. <laughs> In all seriousness, we do want kids. Yeah. We love kids. Yeah, they're crazy. They are insane. And then the next question is, how many kids do you want? I want like, not five. <laughs> Definitely not five. Unless some of them are adopted because there's no way yeah, I'm having five children. I think we're in like the two to four range. Yeah. Comfortably. I, I, I wanted three. I loved the way that I grew up with two boys and one girl. That kind of leads into the next question. But I think we kind of want an even number. So either two, four. Yeah. I don't know. Well, honestly, we'll see what happens. We Who don't knows? really have much control over it. Joe's family is ridiculously... <laughs> fertile so uh we'll see what happens there actually though it's insane <laughs> we made so, it seven months into marriage i'm honestly so. incredibly surprised <laughs> literally every single time maybe tmi i don't know i'm literally like okay please get my period please get my period because i'm my family is just insanely fertile yeah, it's true but anyways the next one is do you specifically want a boy or a girl and how many of each I don't really know. I like even. Like I had this one sister and I'm the older brother. Yeah. I definitely would to love up. to have like an older brother. I just want at least one of each, you know? As yeah. long as I get one of each, then I'm totally fine. Either That's way. True. Down so, for a mix. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you got. Mixed bag of kids. <laughs> exactly. And when do you want to start having kids? Right now. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. And like, I don't know three to five years. I didn't want to say that in like the, where do you see you guys, where do you see yourselves in five years? Cause then it would just ruin the answer. But definitely in five years, we want at least like one kid. Yeah. Definitely like, one kid. You gotta have Hopefully start. not two kids. Yeah. But. Yeah, one or two. At least. Those. Depends how quick back to back we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I actually get. No rest for the wicked. I get anxiety. Something on your, you have a dead bug on your lip for real. I have a dead bug on my lip? Yeah dog. That is actually disgusting. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a dead bog. No, <laughs> they probably could see that the whole while time. While she was talking. <laughs> That's nasty. It's so gross. You nasty girl. You nasty. Um, I can't even remember what we were talking about now. When do we want to have kids? Um, yeah, regardless, soon. we want to have. Three to five years. Yeah, we want to start a family kind of sooner than later. Yeah. Start cranking them out. Okay, not cranking <laughs> them out. Definitely not. But like, I get anxiety thinking about actually giving birth. It's true. It is. She does. I can't even think about it. Like, as soon as I get pregnant, how am I not gonna spend the nine months thinking about pushing like a freaking Saint Bernard out my butt? <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> but like, how in the world are you supposed to do that? Come on. I mean, enough women do it. So Everyone. obviously, yeah, tons of women do it. there's something to it. It's worth it. And when I get to the other side, I'm sure I'll experience it. But in the meantime, not excited in any way. It's gonna Shake be fun. Up. She'll eat a lot of ice cream in those nine months, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm going to pack on a pound. <laughs> but anyways, guys, so that is all of the questions. Although there was one question, it wasn't exactly a question, but it said, you're so pretty. <laughs> so you need to thank them. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> so hopefully this uh, helps you guys get to know us a little bit better. Yeah. Let us know what you want to see. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. Like and subscribe, baby. Yeah. Yeah, Kay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.